Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. I'm challenging myself to use an entire sweater from the thrift store and today's project is this quick gnome wine sleeve. Boop! If you'd like to make it, stick around. Hey, while you're here, can you hit that like button? So I know you're here and it helps me out. So here's what we're going to be making. I didn't even know what a wine sleeve was yesterday, but someone asked me to make a full body wine gnome bottle topper, which is apparently called a wine sleeve. So let's get to it. While moving, I found like an enormous amount of faux fur. And so I have all of these scraps and uh, samples that I'm working through. I also have this J Jill medium sweater I got from the thrift store. It's got a lot of texture and I don't know, let's use it. About two years ago, I designed something in my iPad uh, within Procreate, and you can see here, it was a sweater that I wanted to create a whole bunch of projects from. Over here at the top left, you can see a wine bottle topper. Let's just turn it into an entire sleeve. So I'm going to take a wine bottle for an you know, average measurement, and I'm going to get the width of the actual bottle. Now, I have some stretch in this, so I'm going to cut it at that size. If you do not have horizontal stretch, you need to add a seam allowance starting at three quarters of an inch. Now go about an inch higher than the bottle and cut it in a downward sort of angle, pin those together, and then just join those two cuts. Easy peasy, right? I'm going to be using a hot glue gun to make this, but I will talk about if you want to sew or if you want to use something along the lines of E6000 fabric fuse. So we're just going to put the right sides of this you know, sailboat sail together, and I'm gonna pin it in the center just to keep everything in place while I make it. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be using a hot glue gun. It is not full of fabric hot glue. If you do have a hot glue gun full of that, absolutely use it, but this will work as well. If you are using a fabric fuse or a fabric glue of some kind, I'm really bad at them, but it will also work because you'll be moving and stretching these and those glues are designed for that. If you are sewing, I recommend sewing on the faux fur before you do this part, but you can glue it on as well. Just by the way, sewing would be half the time. So this whole thing only took about, well, less than 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, it's if you want to sew it, it's super easy just to run a straight stitch with a star and reverse stitch at the bottom and top just to lock everything in. You may want to use a knit uh, stitch if you can choose them on your dials. All right, so I did cut out the dry time. That's the only thing I cut out here. And that is because I really make sure it's set before I use my needle nose pliers, grab the very tippy top and pull it through. Now I check all of my seams. So I'm gonna hold this, push it through and then run that seam that I glued in between my fingers, not only to lay it flat, but also just to check to make sure everything is secure. And it is, so we can move on. So in order to determine the size of the faux fur beard and the width, uh, the height and the width, I'm just gonna pop this onto the bottle. Whoa, almost dropped it. And see this detail? I want that. So mine is going to sit a little bit higher on the gnome. This is whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. This is a scrap that I got on Etsy or a sample that I got on Etsy uh, from the fur boutique. This is, I don't know, you don't have to go as wide as I'm going. I'm going to go all the way and just hang it a little over the middle edges so that way I can have nice full look to my beard. But you can make a two inch beard, a three inch beard, a scrap beard. You can piece together, be it doesn't matter. Just make yourself happy. If you wanna find the center easily, just fold it in half and then start there. I'm going to create a rounded U just by using an X-Acto knife and barely scoring that fabric backing. Look how easy that is. Nice and lush, you don't have to worry about scissors. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can use a razor blade or a box cutter. Just make sure you don't poke too hard. So I'm just, and by the way, when you see this, they're not even, don't worry about it, it's not a soul going to be able to tell. All right. So the very top, I do recommend this, even if you're sewing and that is to turn down and secure the top quarter inch. I am not using a trim along the top to hide this. So this is the way I get around it. If you glue down the top quarter inch, it's going to make this nice fluffy, like it's growing out look as opposed to, Oh, that's the top of where they cut the faux fur, right? You know, while I'm gluing this again, you can see this is real time, not speeding, not, um, what do you call it? Editing anything out. While I'm doing this, let me talk about gnome noses. 
I probably get an email every day about options for noses. Wood beads with the holes, wood rounds without the holes, wood cabochons or wood flat backs, they're called both. You can use Christmas ornaments, you can use pom-poms, you can use clay gnome noses you make, whatever you want. I'm going to be using a one inch wood round, no holes, okay? So before I put that on, I'm actually just going to glue on the faux fur. So you can see I'm gluing right onto that fabric backing and not the faux fur. If you want, you can glue down that top edge that we folded over. It's just not going to be as secure a join. If you sell at markets, if you put things in a consignment shop, if you have and go to craft fairs, or if you have an Etsy shop, this is a perfect scrap buster craft. Number one, you don't have to use a lot of faux fur. Number two, you can use any at least two-way stretch material for this. So let's say you have this wonky piece of fleece, you can make one of these. And if you don't want to make it all the way down to the sleeve, meaning the entire bottle, you can just make a topper. Things like this are perfect at the end of the year so you can burn through your inventory, get that written down on your taxes, and also earn from the scraps. Okay. Try and keep the hot glue out of the fur, brush it out if you have a brush, and now let's pop on the little nose. I find the center of the faux fur, brush the fur away. I pulled up a little bit of fur at the top before finding that fabric backing. I put hot glue and I'm going to press, I'm gonna find the pretty part of the wood bead, and then I'm gonna press it into that glue so that the glue comes up the side. And then I'm just gonna push that little top bit of fur down so it looks like this. Look how cute he is. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm just gonna not lie to you. I spent about three or four minutes debating on decorating this thing. So it's the beginning of August. I'm making all my fall, finalizing all my fall before I moved to Christmas and decided, you know what? What if you give somebody this for Thanksgiving and then they wanna re-gift it for Christmas it's gonna be all fall, so that's not good. So I just decided to pop this little decoration on and be done with it. But you know what? I would love to hear from you. Let me know down in the comments, would you make this? Number two, would you sell this? And number three, how would you decorate it? I really appreciate you being here today. As always, please like this video, please share this video, and subscribe for more crafty fun.